Have you ever wondered how the shade of a big tree affects the growth of smaller plants around it? In today's video, we'll explore the fascinating relationship between trees and the smaller plants living beneath their canopy. Like giants in a silent world, trees shape the lives of those around them, dictating the terms of survival and prosperity. Join me as we delve into the intricate dance between sunlight and shadow, moisture and competition, and uncover the secrets of a thriving ecosystem. The most obvious effect of a tree's presence is the shade it casts upon the world below. This shade, while providing a cool respite from the sun for many creatures, creates a complex and challenging environment for the plants that live beneath the canopy. Sunlight, that lifeblood of the plant kingdom, becomes a scarce and precious commodity. The dappled light that filters through the leaves above is often not enough for the plants below to thrive. For some, this presents an insurmountable challenge. These plants, unable to access the necessary light, may never reach their full potential, remaining stunted and weak. Plants, much like ourselves, require sunlight for photosynthesis, the very process that allows them to convert light energy into the sugars they need to grow. This process is essential for their survival and growth. Without sufficient light, some plants may struggle to thrive. They may grow slowly, their leaves becoming pale and their stems weak. Their growth can become stunted, their stems stretching desperately towards the elusive rays of the sun becoming weak and leggy in their pursuit of sustenance. This phenomenon, known as etiolation, is a common sight in shaded environments. We see this often in the understory of dense forests, where saplings engage in a silent battle for survival, their forms twisting and turning in an attempt to escape the oppressive shade of their larger brethren. These young plants must navigate a delicate balance, growing just enough to reach the light, but not so much that they exhaust their limited resources. This dance of light and shadow is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. But the story of shade is not always one of hardship. Just as a desert nomad seeks refuge in the cool shade of an oasis palm, so too do some plants find solace beneath the canopy of a tree. For you see shade, while limiting sunlight, also plays a crucial role in preserving a precious resource moisture. Without the relentless glare of the sun, the soil beneath a tree remains cooler, losing moisture at a slower rate. This creates a haven for plants that thrive in damp environments, offering them a much needed respite from the drying effects of direct sunlight. In the dappled light of the understory, a whole community of moisture-loving plants flourishes, their leaves unfurling in the humid air. Life, in all its forms, is a constant competition for resources, and the world beneath a tree is no exception. While shade may offer some respite from the sun's glare, it also sets the stage for a silent struggle for survival the competition for nutrients and water. Trees with their extensive root systems are masters of resource acquisition. Their roots, like intricate networks of veins, delve deep into the earth, seeking out water and essential nutrients. This subterranean web, while invisible to the naked eye, gives trees a significant advantage in the competition for sustenance. Smaller plants, with their more limited root systems, often find themselves vying for the leftovers their growth and vitality dependent on the generosity, or perhaps indifference, of their larger neighbors. Chapter 4. Masters of the Shade Yet, nature, in its infinite wisdom, has equipped some plants with remarkable adaptations, allowing them to not just survive, but thrive in the shadow of giants. These plants have developed an extraordinary ability to harness the limited light that filters through the dense canopy above, turning what seems like a disadvantage into a unique strength, these shade-tolerant species, as we call them, have evolved unique strategies to flourish in low-light conditions. They have adapted their leaf structures, root systems, and even their growth patterns to make the most of the scarce sunlight available to them. Take the ferns, for example, those ancient denizens of the forest floor. Ferns have been around for millions of years, and their survival is a testament to their incredible adaptability. Their fronds, often delicate and intricately patterned, are remarkably efficient at capturing and utilizing whatever sunlight manages to penetrate the canopy above. The unique structure of their leaves allows them to maximize photosynthesis even in the dimmest of light. Then there are the hostas, their broad sculptural leaves painted with an array of colors and patterns, adding a touch of artistry to the shady corners of our gardens. Hostas are not just beautiful, they're also incredibly resilient, able to thrive in conditions where many other plants would struggle. These resilient plants have adapted to not only tolerate shade, but to revel in it, their beauty a testament to the power of adaptation. 
They remind us that even in the darkest of places, life finds a way to flourish. The diversity and ingenuity of these shade-loving plants are a true marvel of nature, showcasing the endless possibilities of adaptation and survival. Chapter 5. A Temperate Refuge The shade of a tree offers more than just protection from the sun's intensity. It creates a microclimate, a world within a world, where temperatures are moderated and extremes are softened. On scorching summer days, when the sun beats down with relentless fury, the air beneath a tree remains noticeably cooler. This is a boon for plants that are sensitive to extreme heat, offering them a much-needed respite from the sweltering conditions. This cooling effect is due in part to the shade itself, which prevents the ground from absorbing as much heat. But it's also influenced by the process of transpiration, where trees release water vapor through their leaves, cooling the surrounding air, much like how our own perspiration helps to regulate our body temperature. Chapter 6. The Cycle of Bloom and Bounty Sunlight, while often a source of life, can also be a harbinger of stress. The sun's rays are essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy. This energy fuels their growth and development, enabling them to produce the oxygen we breathe and the food we eat. Just as we seek shade on a scorching day, so too do some plants benefit from the protection offered by a tree's canopy. The shade provided by trees can create a microclimate that is cooler and more humid, which can be crucial for the survival of certain plant species. For plants that are particularly sensitive to heat stress, the cooler temperatures found in the shade can be a lifeline, allowing them to conserve water and maintain their physiological processes. This protective environment helps them avoid the damaging effects of excessive heat and sunlight, such as wilting and dehydration. However, this balancing act of light and shade also influences a plant's ability to flower and bear fruit. The amount of light a plant receives can affect its growth patterns, flowering time, and fruit production. Plants have evolved various strategies to cope with different light conditions, ensuring their survival and reproduction. Many plants require a certain amount of sunlight to trigger their reproductive cycles. This light-dependent process, known as photoperiodism, determines when a plant will flower and set fruit. Without adequate sunlight, these processes can be delayed or inhibited, affecting the plant's ability to reproduce successfully. For these sun-loving species, the shade cast by a tree can hinder their ability to produce flowers and fruits in abundance. In dense forests or heavily shaded areas, these plants may struggle to thrive, often resulting in fewer blooms and reduced fruit yields. This is why you'll often find fruit trees, for example, planted in open areas where they can bask in the full glory of the sun's rays. These open environments provide the optimal conditions for photosynthesis, allowing the trees to grow vigorously and produce an abundance of fruit. Their branches laden with the sweet rewards of a successful harvest, these trees stand as a testament to the importance of sunlight in the cycle of bloom and bounty. The interplay of light and shade is a delicate balance that shapes the natural world, influencing the growth and productivity of plants in profound ways. Utro, a symphony of interdependence. Understanding how a big tree's shade affects nearby plants can help you create a balanced, thriving garden. By recognizing the interplay of light and shadow, moisture and competition, we can create harmonious plant communities that mimic the intricate relationships found in nature. Remember, a garden is more than just a collection of plants. It's an ecosystem, a delicate tapestry woven together by the threads of sunlight, soil, water, and the silent language of trees. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more nature tips.